Y'all ever apply for a social media management job and then they're like, okay, cool, let me see your work. And now you're sitting there like, mm. Mm. you wanna see what? Because maybe you don't have any experience to show. Maybe you do, but you don't know what to include. Maybe you just haven't done it because lazy. Don't worry, cause you know your girl got you. So go ahead and pull out that Canva and let's create this online portfolio. My name is Erica and I am your personal social media management coach and your biggest cheerleader here to help you launch your own profitable agency. So let's head to the computer and jump right on into it, shall we? All right, y'all, this portfolio you create is going to get straight to the point. The purpose is to showcase what it is that you know how to do. So we're going to leave out all that extra fluff, those things that don't matter and get to the nitty gritty because you have to think about how people are going to be looking through your content. They want to see it quick, fast and in a hurry. They're not trying to read any long information. They just really want to know, can you do what it is that you're saying you know how to do? Or do you know how to do the things that you're applying for? So let's take a look at all the things that you need to include inside of your online portfolio. The first thing is going to be who you are. You're then going to go into what you offer, the tools and systems you know how to use, your work samples. You want to show these. You want to also show your results and your testimonials if you have them. If you don't, I'll show you how to work around that. But then you're also going to include your contact information. Now, if you're going to be using Canva for this, which I highly recommend, you can use Canva Pro, which is the paid version, or you can use the free version of Canva. And to do that, there's a lot of templates on here. But if you type in, portfolio presentations, you'll see a lot of different options. Now, again, if you're on the free plan, you may not have as many, but what you can do is hover and it's going to tell you if it's on the free plan. So right here, you see how it's saying uh, that this is free. So that's how you kind of differentiate what's free versus what is paid. But let me show you what an online portfolio looks like. So we are going to be using Social Street Instagram Agency, which is an Instagram management agency. So first page, if you want to put your picture on here, you can. If you want to add an image in general, some elements, so like some design elements, feel free. It's yours. Do with it what you will. So the second page is going to be that who you are. Y'all, this is not to be drawn out. This is not a complete bio. You got to remember, these people are looking at this. They want to see information really, really quick. They're not trying to get your life story about how you grew up here and then you moved here and then you found your love for this. No, this is not the time. Really quickly, give these people what it is that they need. So who, who, what's your name and what do you do? So I help business owners use Instagram to convert their followers into customers and to increase brand awareness. What's your specialty? What do you do for people? Boom, right there. Put a little picture of yourself. Let them see who you are. They may have never seen you before. Next is going to be your services and your packages. And this is where you're going to detail out what it is that you can offer your clients. So package one, package two, package three. Or you could add another page in where you have your services. Maybe you have an Instagram audit. Maybe you have a content creation package. You can add all of these things in. One thing that you'll notice is that the pricing is not underneath here. If you want to add your pricing, please do add that in there. It is totally up to you, all right? The next thing you're going to do is add in your tools and your systems. When somebody is hiring for a social media manager, it is important that they feel like you could just hop on the team and jump right in because you already know how to use ClickUp. You already know how to schedule content out of later. You already know how to take direction from out of Asana or ClickUp. Whatever it is that they already use, this is something that will put the client at ease that they don't have to do that additional training to get you on board. You're already coming in and you're showing them right here in your portfolio. I already know how to use this. So don't even worry about it, okay? The next one is going to be your work samples. Now, you may have several pages for this. This can be laid out in different ways. The thing about this is if we're talking about these social media platforms, you want to be able to showcase content that is actually trendy and things that are working on the platform right now. So, for example, we know that memes are working right now really well. We even know that carousels are working really well. So what can you showcase inside of your portfolio that shows that you know how to stay on top of trends and you're creative? And you have a variety of content. Like you're not a one trick pony where you're only creating one type of content. So I would definitely put in here some reels. If you want to upload videos into Canva, you can. And you can add that as part of your presentations. Um, make sure that you're showcasing a variety of what you need, what you know how to do.
then you want to go straight into your results and testimonials. Being able to show before and afters, being able to show um, clients talk about how great of an experience they had with you, that is everything for clients forget all that other stuff they want to know that you can get results i mean they want to see they want to see the graphics too right they want to see that you know how to get results especially if at the top here we said that we want to we work to help business owners convert their followers into customers and to increase brand awareness then i better see something in here i'm hoping i see something now if you do not have results yet if you do not have testimonials yet fine but i need you to go ahead and get these work samples popping they need to see that you know how to at least create some content that looks appealing you can also add in here some captions too like some sample captions that you've written with some call to actions to get people off of instagram and into that client's funnel so when we're talking about results, I want to show you this example from one of my students from the agency Edit Diamond. This is her portfolio, but let me just show you these results that she has. So on this page, she has a video testimonial, a written testimonial, as well as results. She has these screenshots, which do not lie. So this is before working with Diamond and then after one month of actually working with her. So this is the kind of stuff that you eventually want to put inside of your portfolio. The last thing we want to put in here is your contact information. How are they going to reach out to you? You do not have to add your phone number in here. Your Instagram or your social media handles and your email address is enough. Now, when it comes to your email address, we want to make sure that it's professional. And that does not mean that it has to end in your domain name. So it can be um, your agency name at gmail.com. What we don't want, though, is we don't want like fresh and flirty 32 at gmail like that's not professional so just make sure whatever it is that you choose ideally it should be your agency name at gmail or hello at whatever it is make it professional but that's it y'all that is just seven pages and of course like i said you want to add some bulk to this so you do want to add in work samples you do want to add in client testimonials as you start getting that type of stuff in but keep this simple. People don't have a lot of time, but they do want to see your portfolio at times. And this is just one of the easiest, easiest ways to professionally present this to clients. So let me show you a few ways that you can actually share this with clients. The first way is that you can download this as a PDF. So if I go to download and I'm going to go to file type and I'm going to change that to a PDF print. You can then send that inside of emails. You can upload it to Google Drive and send a link through Google Drive. Um, some people prefer to have it that way. Another way you can share this is by a link. So let me show you how to do that. You're gonna go to share. And right here where it says share a link to edit, you're actually gonna change that to view. What that's gonna do is create a link. And when I pull it up in a new window, this is what it will look like. Now, the thing about this though is this will not allow them to download it. They will only be able to view it inside of this Canva link right here. Another way you can present this is as a website. So I'm going to click these three dots here. And it says, how would you like to publish? I'm going to type in website. And you see it pop up. All right. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can do a presentation style, scrolling style, where it just scrolls up and down. Um, classic navigation or standard. So let's just take a look at the standard uh, navigation window. So from here, the client will be able to click through to see all the different pages of your portfolio. So as you can see right here inside of Canva, you can present a really, really professional social media management portfolio that will really make your clients be like, okay, Mm -hmm. or your potential clients, soon to be clients say, okay, okay. So I really truly hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and make sure you subscribe for more weekly videos on all things scaling and opening your own social media management agency.